Hello there, Itro here. Today we're going to be going over zero working force needed for your production buildings, how you get them, and what are the benefits from them. So let's get straight into this. So as you can see, this island is farming potatoes, and we have the base capacity on working force bonus from influence. So we've got 200 working force across all the categories, and we have no extra housing down on here. So we have all these farms, but we have no deduction on our working force. Let's have a look at this closer. So if we have a look at the individual farm, or well, any production building, down at the bottom here, you'll actually have an indication of how many working force is needed currently for the building. And as we can see, we have zero working force needed for the farms. So how are we get into that? In this particular instance, we're actually utilizing trade union items. So we have a look at the trade union. We can see I have four slots available, the next one from the palace. And we have a couple of items in here. And the two that we're gonna be looking at mostly is the Miraculous Steel Plow, which boosts productivity and reduces working force by 50%. We also have a seed drill, which decreases working force again by another 50%. So those two 50% add up to that 100%. Doesn't matter in what combination you use, as long as the total is 100%, you'll get your working force needed down to zero. Now, with the crops, you can actually use tractors as well if you have the Bright Harvest DLC. Tractors with fuel will reduce working force needed by 50%. And there are a multitude of different sorts of items you can utilize. So let's have a look at what sort of items you can use for all of your production buildings. So we hit Control and T and bring up the items page. Okay, so when you're on the items page, make sure you have the unknown box selected. Just make sure the game finds all items in game and not just the ones you know. So in here, you can physically search for the individual production line that you're looking for an item for. Like we can have a look at potato farm. And this will bring up all the items. And then you just be manually searching through each of them to find the ones that affect working force. Alternatively, you can also search for workforce. And this will bring up all items in game that can have an effect on working force. Now, you have to be careful in here because this will bring up all items, whether it be for production lines or items for your town hall which can have a positive or negative effect on working force. So if you want to make sure you're looking for items for your trade unions, make sure you can utilize the items up here. So you can do trade unions, harbour master offices, town halls, cultural sets or ship items. So if we have a look at trade union items, these are all the items that can have effects on working force. Then you just have to actually go through and check each individual one to see what it affects. Now, once you find the right particular one, you can select the item and then you can do item source and then you can actually click on the side and find where you can actually get it. Or you can also check on item location and it, here it'll list if you have one in one of your warehouses or equipped already. So we've briefly gone over some of the permanent things that you can do to reduce your working force needed on your production lines. Is there anything else that can happen? Now there is actual festivals. Some of the festivals in game can provide resources to your island. They can provide fulfillment on certain things. They can add extra productivity for certain production lines. And some of them can actually reduce working force needed on production chains. So if you suddenly see a increase in your working force and you're not sure why, before you start go spending all the extra working force, just make sure you don't actually have a festival ongoing. Because that festival is only going to be a temporary thing. And once that festival ends, you're going to have to uh, replenish the working force somewhere. So let's go over to the new world and have a look into workforce needed in a little bit more detail. So over here we have a set of agricultural farms and we have cow chuck and coffee being harvested here. And in the trade union, we have a Herman, which is productivity. We have a Ferris, which is productivity and 10% workforce reduction. 
And we have the plow, which is productivity and 50%. So that's only getting us to 60%. However, if we have a look at the production line. We're still at zero working force needed. And that is because of the Bright Harvest DLC and the actual tractors. So we actually have a look at the tractors. You provide them with fuel. Once they're constructed, they give 200% productivity and working force reduction. They will increase the size of the plots needed, but they are outweighed by the extra productivity that you can actually put down. So let's actually have a zoom out on this island very quickly. So over here, we have this section over here, which as you saw before, had zero working force over here because of the plow and the tractors. So I have a similar setup over here as well. We have cow truck being farmed over here with the tractors and a trade union over here with the same sort of setup. So all these buildings are zero working force. And we also have the exact same over here as well. So that means all these crops over here are getting a boost for productivity and also require zero working force. So that means we have no needs for houses for any of the actual people for the production lines over here. So can we actually do the same sort of thing on other production lines? Yes, we can. Let's have a look at the actual coffee roasters now. So we can see we're actually getting coffee beans for zero working force. We actually have a look at the coffee roasters over here. So over here, we have a human incarnate, which reduces working force needed. And I also have a coffee sommelier, which is reducing working force needed as well. So that means the actual coffee beans being harvested over here, take no people. The actual coffee roasters over here need no workers either. So technically, you can set up your island to require zero working force for the crop harvesting and zero working force for the actual production. You just have to shop around and find the right specific items for the each production line. So with zero working force production buildings, the obvious benefit is you won't need working force on the island, which means you don't need houses, which means they don't need feeding. The next thing we're going to be looking at is working conditions. In the bottom left hand corner of the production menu, you can adjust working conditions. Now the working conditions mechanic is a system that allows you to get up to 50% extra productivity on the production building at the cost of happiness. Think of it as increasing the working hours. Now because we have zero working force on the farms, we can actually adjust working conditions all the way up to 50% and it doesn't affect happiness at all because there's nobody here to get upset. So the next thing we're going to be going over is incidents. Now, links down below for the incidents video. We covered off before that if you keep your working force down on the island and you don't have commuter peers on the island, if you keep the working force below 200 population living on the island, you won't actually have any incidents on here. So if we have a look at the incident menu, we have zero incidents can be started on here so we won't have any illness we won't have any fires we won't have any riots because there's zero working force on the actual island this is a very easy way of making sure that this island is zero risk and has zero inputs and just outputs if you did enjoy today's video do appreciate any likes and subscriptions onto the channel and video and comment down below if there is a guide you'd like me to cover off next stay safe out there and i'll catch you on the next one